Today I receive a DAC replacement board that I've made. I call it the DAC reboard. And um, it replaces, or attempts to replace, the SC77526 chip found in the Cocos. I based the design of this chip on uh, schematics for the Coco 1, uh, the Coco 2, and uh, the Dragon 64. Um, so far the chip, um, I've tested the audio and the audio works, albeit noisy, and I'll tell you why I think it's noisy, and the joysticks work. It's noisy, um, I think, because uh, when the joysticks are being worked, uh, that bleeds into the sound, and that, that could be due to routing on the board, or uh, maybe I need to put in some sort of high-pass filter in there. Um, I'm going to have to investigate that, but I mean, the results are promising, and, and I need to do several tests, but uh, so far, um, it's promising. Now, I'm going to show it to you over here, installed in my Coco. And there it is, and uh, that is where the DAC goes, the DAC chip. Okay, and so I, I do want to point out um, something special about this Coco. So, if you look at the components I used to build this, you know, there's nothing here um, except maybe for except the case and the transformer from an original Coco. So um, this is where the salt chip goes, and that's the, what I call the pepper board. That's replaced the salt chip. Um, now, you know, we have the DAC board there, which I call the DAC board. Uh, these PIAs over here, um, they're still made and you can still buy them. Okay. Um, the processor, this is a 6309. Um, that never uh, was included in a Coco. Uh, originally, so you know, no, no cocoa was trashed for that. And then, so um, the VDG and uh, the SAM chip over here on the right, bottom right. And now, those uh, might have been pulled from a Dragon 64 or a Dragon, some sort of Dragon, because uh, I bought those from China on eBay. Um, I do want to point out that I had to bend the pins uh, to get them to fit in the socket. And the overall impression I got is that they were unused. So I'm pretty sure this is old new stock, you know, and and um, all the other, you know, support chips, like the 74 LS series chips, you can still get those. And of course, you know, um, those are EE proms. So, uh, you know, I, I, I want to say, and maybe I'm wrong, that this is even the keyboard. This is a Mr. Dave 6309 Cherry MX keyboard. I want to say that um, this Coco 2 here is probably the first Coco 2 made um, in a long time without sacrificing another Coco. So th th this is a, you know, save for the case, which, you know, that can pretty sure one's going to be, you know, made pretty soon. Save for the case, this is a new Coco think. Well, let's look at the screen here, and I've already typed up here so you can hear that. And Oops, I did not want to do that. I wanted to do sound, not play. What am I doing? Okay, and you heard that. And now I'm going to put Megabug in. You can see the joystick work. Oh, that's Slay the Norris. And that's pretty nasty, the sound, right? But you see the joystick works. It reads, okay? It's hard to play. But that's pretty nasty. So, when working the joystick, um, you get that sort of interference. Now, uh, now I'm going to put in Megabug. That sounds pretty clean. It's just, you know, playing sound. The joystick isn't being used. So it sounds right. So I'm gonna try and play a game here so you can you can hear what I'm talking about. And see if I can fix the phase on that. Make it look. Okay. So I don't know if you hear the crackling, but there's crackling. There is crackling when working the joystick, much less on this game than on Slay the Norris. 
Uh, later on, I'll be testing other parts of the DAC chip. But so far, this is promising.